Hey guys, what's going on today? Uh, I have some uh, new release updates and uh, this one here, which is the Australian Saltwater Crocodile NGC MS70, which is the early release. Um, this was on their eBay store for $59, but now they're asking for $49. Um, so I think this is a decent deal. Um, a lot of people have reported that when you buy the tube, there's a little space on the top, so during shipment it rattles and uh, it damages the coin. So um, I checked the population report on this coin, and I think there's over like 250 of them. And uh, we're waiting to see if PCGS is going to have any of these as well. So um, not not a bad deal, 49 bucks. Uh, I actually picked up two and uh, hope to be getting them sometime next week all right and I came across this coin from Gainesville.com uh, well GainesvilleCoins.com thanks to Big Stack McGee he did a video on this coin this tuna looks you know pretty uh, realistic uh, for a bullion round I mean a bullion coin um, and they're charging 2323 right now by credit card and of course yes there's the shipping and it's gonna be a little bit you know more but uh, I like this coin I don't know if this is colored and like the black part over here is that colored or is it something to do with what they did with the silver I don't know but uh, I would like to have at least two of these coins really nice and Provident is going to release the Zombucks uh, Mark DM coin. Uh, I haven't been following up with these coins, but it looks like you know there's a following for zombie coins, and people like to buy them and collect them. So I just wanted to put that put it out there for the zombie fans. Twenty three ninety three cash price, so it's like what two ninety nine over spot. Okay. And I was watching uh, Pawn Stars yesterday, and one guy brought in a Denarius coin into the shop and. He didn't know if it was real or what kind of value it had and I'm like oh that might really have some potential value here and the guy came in and uh, to like an expert guy uh, Rick the pawn shop guy called in the, the expert guy and he said uh, is this real or not and it turned out to be real and uh, the value was assessed at like uh, 10,000 plus so um, Rick offered 7000 in the beginning and then uh, the guy was about to walk out you know firmly saying he wanted 8500 or something like that and uh, Rick relent uh, let in and he just uh, said all right you know I'll, I'll, I'll buy it for 8500 so in a retail price he said that the guy said like over 10,000 bucks but if um, Rick sends this in to PCGS or NGC and gets it graded. I think he'll get a lot more than ten thousand, probably twenty thousand, maybe you know, maybe more. This is something that could go into auction. I think it's a very rare, but very nicely uh, retained. All the definitions on the face and everything is still there. Um, the guy who brought it in said he had a bag of these, but uh, most of it was like all worn out. You know, it's over 2,000 years old, right? It's almost 2,000 years old. So uh, an interesting uh, segment on uh, Pawn Stars. That's what I got for today. Thanks for watching.